the side of the drawer for you. All right. And I will show you that this works. We'll leave this open so we don't forget it. It doesn't have an outside radio. Does it? No, not yeah, outside. Yeah, uh, George don't have an outside radio. Well, radio underneath the TV. Yeah. yeah, and this one, this is also hooked up with your dish and everything. So when you pick that on, you can launch it out here. So we'll tell you, it helps a lot better if you run your awning out. Um, or when the sun's not right there. That'll help out a lot. We'll leave this open so we don't forget. Okay. In here, this one doesn't, it's got a little kickstand on this one if you want to put it in here. But in here, if you ever want to drain your fresh tank, if you want to flush the water system out, or also if you ever want to winterize this coach. Yeah. So, right here you got a fresh tank drain. Uh -huh. If you ever want to drain the coach, you just open that up. Right now, with this valve going horizontal, this pump is going to draw from the water tank. If you ever okay. wanted to winterize this coach, you flip it the other direction. if you put it vertical, oh. you can pick up antifreeze with this tube. Okay. The pump will take it through your system. That's all I need is a George Town, isn't it? <laughs> this has got a nice setup on it. Oh, you didn't have to. Uh, yeah, you crawled underneath the back tire. Uh, the George Town. For the two valves. Yeah. And then I think the pump was on the other side. I don't know. You get a little bit of a low point drain here also. Yeah. Another faster way to drain this tank is if you open that one, whip this one down with your water pump on, uh -huh. the water pump will draw the water out and also drain out of that okay. hole. So winterizing on this coach is very easy for you. Got it? So if you want to hold it up. That valve has to be in that position yeah. when you winterize it. When you winterize it. You want this one like this, so it can okay. pump it through the so water it pumps system. Through the water system. Yeah. Gotcha. You're just going to have to flip this valve and pick it up through this hose. Gotcha. You got any questions in there? I guess we're okay, huh? Yep. Alrighty. Got it? Alrighty, coming on back. Alright, you got your DEF tank in here. Right now it's full. Okay. Um, How's your knowledge on the DEF fluid? On the what? The DEF fluid. DEF fluid is not, I don't fluid. know anything about All what right. you're talking about. So for the newer diesels, I believe it started in, uh, what, 2009? Yeah, around like there. The, the emissions and everything, you have to have this to uh, make it clean. Uh, you have a gauge inside on your fuel gauge also for this. It's the little bars underneath your fuel gauge. I'll show you that one. This what do you mean? Make it uh, fuel? Make it? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it makes it burn clean. Yeah. Oh, it makes it burn clean. Okay, yep. they got fillers, you say. Yeah. Okay. If you ever go to a truck stop, yeah. um, they have actual DEF uh, fill fuel. stations, just like if you were going to fill the diesel up, they'll be marked DEF. Or you can buy this in gallon jugs, uh, sorted sizes like that. If I were you, I'd always keep a gallon or two on you. If this gets too low, the truck will go into limp mode, uh -huh. and it'll only go about 20 mile an hour. So, How low is that? I believe if that tank gets to about a gallon full to stop it from running completely out. So I'd always keep a little bit of spare with you, just so you know. Keep an eye on the levels. You can check it here or the dash inside. It'll tell you. See, I, uh, I run, uh, I had some problems up at uh, the campground at Stony Lake. Uh, I went in there and I didn't have a lot of fuel in there. And I, I wasn't planning on uh, running my uh, generator, and uh, I ended up having, uh, we didn't, they, they couldn't get me hooked up to electricity, so uh, I had to run my generator all night. Well, next day I went over to the dump station, dumped it, and I, says, uh, and I got over there, we dumped it, I got back in, and I went to start the uh, RV, it wouldn't start, it was empty. I mean, I had just enough to get to the dump station. I got all bent out of shape. You're going to have to get this out of here and move it. I thought, I had a new key. I'll go ahead and move it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, if you have any more questions about this, your uh, actual Freightliner manual inside in your bag of paperwork, I'll show you. Okay. It'll explain the system more. Um, like I said, I just keep some on you so you don't ever run out. If it gets low, put some more in there. You won't have to fill this every time you add fuel. This will last a lot longer than your fuel itself. Does the generator pull this? No, the generator does not also pull this. This is just for the engine itself, for the chassis. Okay. So you won't have to worry about filling that if you just run it again. You got any questions on that? Nope. Lasts about 3,000 miles, doesn't it?
something like yeah, that? Yeah, give or take. I've heard varying stories, but right around 3,000 miles. Okay. So, I mean, you'll put fuel in it a couple times before you have to fill this back up. Just keep an eye on it. In here. Not really much of a storage compartment. You could put a few little things in the bottom. The top is not storage. This is going to be your hydraulics for your leveling system. Uh huh. Right now, I mean, it's good to go. You have to add the uh, hydraulic fluid to no. it. No. No. Not unless this thing ever sprung a leak or anything. Oh. This is this should stay as it is right now. It says fluid level. Is that? Um, narrow line up top or is it right there that first the top looks like the actual tank the indentation no. in the this tank this right here is where it's supposed to be okay and then you add once it gets down maybe to the other one or is yeah. that if you ever see this get low uh -huh. first off check the leaks make sure you know you don't have any puddles sitting underneath or anything if you if it is getting to that point i'd recommend bringing it in for service i mean adding fluids more a band-aid than an actual fix i just you know, I put it like that but this is, you know, it's mainly a service compartment. You really should never have to mess with anything in there. Okay. Unless see getting low, getting yeah. The level will change when the jacks are down, the slides yeah. are out yep. though, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll don't panic. Yeah, well, you, don't you, panic. You gotta, you gotta uh, be putting hydraulic fluid in your jacks. So we can go ahead and put the jacks down. Alright. So in here you get a little bit more storage. If you were to pick up some DEF in like the one gallon containers or what have you, yeah. this is where I'd put it. Okay. This would be. I don't know if you're going to say, hey, much you can get in there. Yeah. I, I'd keep fluids for the coach in here, is what I'd do. Okay. Other than that, I mean, you're not really going to fit a whole lot else in there. I'd just keep the DEF in there so it's out of the way, you don't have to think about it, and the tank's right there. That's all I'd do that with. Right here's your water heater. You guys got the on demand water heater in this coach. Um, filled with them a little bit, it'll work better for you guys. So, turn it on, it goes, it gets hot. Just be mindful. If you turn it all the way, it's just like home, it's gonna be real hot. So don't burn yourself. <laughs> you try it out and see where you like it first. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Just like at home, adjust it how you like it. Alright, all right, ladder here. This is the, this bottom piece is detachable. It'll come off from the top there. Just gotta pull these pins here. Right now, they're not all the way top through, but it's not like when you watch a NASCAR race, no partying on the roof. I know you might have hopes and dreams of doing it. I'm going to say <laughs> is don't. There, is there a place to carry this ladder if you want to take it off? Yeah, you can stick it in uh, like your, your pass through compartments up in the front. You can put oh. it in there. I mean, personal preference, wherever you want to stick it. Um, you can get up there, the roof will support you. Just, it's not for. It's not, made for, it's not made for living up there. Yeah, right. it's still up there, check your seals. If you guys are in a storm or anything, yeah. check for branches that may have fallen. Just stuff like that. Maintenance wise. It's not the party. I've never been one to get up on the any of any I've ever had. I, 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 I'm afraid I'd fall off of it. I, the problem as I am, well, I'd be on the land on the ground before I got back off. And I will tell you, when those roots are wet, they're very slick looking. Yeah. I've never heard, I've heard that before. We got this lock over from the first time out here. This is the drop he was talking about. It might be too low for you guys to start out. Uh, just when you guys go to hook up, see how oh, you got it. Oh, as long as the, thing, the arms are straight with the car, I don't think they will be uh, a whole lot. I don't think it's going to hurt the way it is. We'll take a look. We'll yeah. see what it does. Let's see. Uh, uh, that little key. Is that on? Uh, that's that's probably up my old Santa. You gotta get your keys for that. I don't yeah. know if you transferred it over yet. 